We've already discussed the very technique of Burkina Faso weaving. Today I'd like to present you a masterclass on creating a work using this method. This small item will be perfect for those who just start getting to know this weaving technique. So today we are making a bottomless cash pour. It is re removable, you can cover any kind of a pot with it. In this case I put some flower springs into a can to wait until they take root and decorated it with a cash pour. So start weaving. Two horizontal tubes and one vertical tube to hug the horizontal ones with. Try your best to keep the edge neat with no cut tube tails. One, two, bend, braid the pole. To get to know the technique in detail you can watch the previous tutorial. So we have even a cash pour edge. Continue this way up to the length sufficient to embrace the base. Braid the strip of required length. Weave engaging the poles. Watch the previous masterclass for details. To make the process of weaving easier, I shift the poles in my fingers. One, two, three. One, two, three. The braid is becoming longer and longer. One, two, and join the next one. Braid. I'm already reaching the required length. I've got a braid like this. Hug the base with the braid you've got. Try it on. It fits perfectly. Now continue weaving adjoining the poles of the previous row as poles of the following one. So, I've bent the tube. Here's the pole of the previous row. I adjoin it and continue braiding. One, two, the next pole. In this case, I weave with no additional poles. I just use the poles of the previous row for the current row. You adjust the row height yourself. Braid the poles. Continue weaving this way spirally up to the required height.
I see I'll soon have to lengthen the poles. For convenience, I turn the workpiece over to direct the poles from myself. Now it's time to lengthen the poles. Got it. And continue weaving with a new long pole. As for the remaining tail, I'll cut it off later. Continue weaving with the poles directed from yourself. One. Here's our pole. Join the pole of the previous row. Lengthen while weaving. Here is a short tail already too. Let's take care to make it easier weaving the following row. Here's the next pole. It is still long enough for braiding. Here's a pole. Lengthen once again, after which just continue weaving in spiral. You just adjoin a new pole to the short tail. It's quite convenient. I'm often asked what kind of an item to choose for a masterclass. I find this cash pot a quite good idea for a tutorial. It has a lot of advantages. Well, it's not a traditional weaving technique, of course. But why not use such exotic weaving methods too? They do have a special zest. This weaving technique doesn't require traditional lengthening, just mere adjoining. Anyway, as a result you've got quite an interesting work. Lacy and nice looking. To my mind, it's quite a good idea. Finish weaving. Here's my starting point. I've already woven up to the required height. Now, gradually, I'm bringing my last row to the last but one. Then there's, uh, there are a few options how to finish. First you can just tuck the braid in. At least I have seen them doing so in willow weaving. You braid the tube tails and lead the braid between the rows, like this. Or you can shape the braid into a handle. As an option, you can curve the braid into coils artistically. I mean, different options are possible. The only thing left will be to finish the top. I propose you just cut in the tails. Or you can weave a few rows of rope and make an edging. Anyway, let's finish the braid so far. Let's braid three pairs of tubes.
So here's the breed. I'm going to use it for decorative purposes. My next task is to cut the tails off very neatly, both on the inside and outside. After all the inside and outside tails have been cut off, I have to cut off the upper tails. You can cut them off either completely, like here, at the level of weaving. Or leave some short tails sticking up, which will make an item look a bit different. So it's up to you to choose the option you prefer. Well, actually that's all. The item is ready. It doesn't take much time to weave and it's quite decorative looking. So I've cut off the tails and have got such a cash pot. The only thing left is to varnish it. The same very way you can create a candle holder. This lace creates very interesting reflection patterns. In our next masterclass we are going to show you how to view a novel bottom in Burkina Faso style. So far I'm wishing you new successful experiments.